The market. It is a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples, apples. Get your apples here. Cheese, a smelly cheese. Fish, nice fresh fish. Each market stall sells one thing. Apples, cheese, fish. Mr Fox's stall sells everything. Violins, casters, rocket engines. Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples! Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Mmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! George loves cheese. <coughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <coughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie, yummy. There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Oh, why didn't you come to me first? I've got all of that. Do you sell apples? You've never seen apples like these. They're made of wood. Wooden apples? Brilliant, aren't they? They'll last forever. What else did you buy? Cheese. Cheese? I've got all kinds of cheese here. They don't smell of much. It's because they are plastic. Made of plastic? Yes, guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Buy one, get four free. No, thank you, Mr Fox. You bought a fish too, didn't you? I could have sold you a better fish. No plastic fish, thank you. This isn't plastic. Well, actually it is. But this is an amazing toy fish. Look, it sings. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> How I wonder what you are. And it only needs 24 batteries. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh... Can we have one, Daddy? No. Please? We could take it home and it could sing to us all day. I'm sorry, Pepper, but our house doesn't need a singing fish. OK. Thanks, Mr Fox, but we really do have everything we came for. There must be something else you need. How about an antique china vase that will never break? Because it's, uh, made of plastic. It's really lovely, but we just don't need anything. Oh, it is raining. Ah, we're getting all wet. No worries. I've got just the thing. Umbrellas! Oh, 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 we'll take them. Yes, four umbrellas, please. Mr Fox's store sells everything. You see, it's lucky you came to my stall. Yes, thank you, Mr Fox. And the best thing is, just for today, buy four umbrellas and you get a singing fish free. Oh, goody! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Peppa loves markets. Everyone loves markets. Super Potato. Today, Mr Potato has come to Peppa's playgroup. Children? Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! By the power of 
of vegetables. I am here. Aha! Thank you, Super Potato. Remember, kids, always eat your five a day. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And now we have a very special guest. Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming! Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything. What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty. Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes! He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave <laughs> Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> Oh dear, Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah, I cannot get out. Mr. Potato is stuck. Help, let me out. What shall we do? Help, Call help. for Super Potato. Let me out. Super Potato, Super Potato. I think he might be too busy to come. No, really, really, I do not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us. Okay. Help us, Super, Super Potato. Potato. There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. Hoo-ha! Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven! Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> Grandpa's toy plane Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house Look, I've got something to show you both Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little She looks very pretty Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. <laughs> we need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, 
Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one. Mark two. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh, yes. Like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please! Then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Papa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Ah, you see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa. Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. Ah, Dolly! Caught you! Hooray! Juice for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes, we've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs> Tiny Land. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George, and Susie Sheep to visit Tiny Land. Daddy, what is Tiny Land? It's a world just like the real world, Pepper, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go, hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go, ah, giants. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr. Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> but we're going to Tiny Land today. Oh, I love Tiny Land. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you. Stop! You let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. 
Welcome to Tiny Land, where everything is really tiny and educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Ooh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. <laughs> this is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah! Ooh. And over there is a Triceratops. Ah! <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Ah! Oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train is on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety clickety clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees and trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world, 24 hour non stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Long train journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Pepper, it's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the tree runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. 
<laughs> magic beds! <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom! There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet! I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower! <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig? We, Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Ah, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night! Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> the end of the holiday. It is the last morning of Peppa's holiday in Italy. I'm just going for one last walk. What? Going for one last swim, Mr Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. <laughs> I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes, I miss my friends and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Peppa is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <laughs> um... She's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Pepper back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Pepper. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Pepper has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes, I have never felt so relaxed. Ah, hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. 
Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie. But she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa. You fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, oh, oh, ho, we got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> Horsey Twinkle Toes. Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. I saw. George, you must stay on your side of the bedroom. That's your side, and this is my side. Do not cross the invisible line. Post! <laughs> Hello, Mr Zebra. Hello, Daddy Pig. I've got some letters for you. Is there anything for me and George? <laughs> hmm, I'm afraid not. They're all for Mummy and me. Oh. There's a parcel as well. Probably that box of reinforced concrete I ordered. Look at all the stamps on it. That's because it's from a long way away. Bye now. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, the label says it is for Pepper and George. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter too. Dear Pepper and George. Here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dotty. Auntie Dotty lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Horsey, Twinkle Toes. Horsey, Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps 
you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! George wants to ride on the toy horse. Go! Go! Oh. George cannot make the horse go. If only there was someone big and strong to push George along. I'm big and strong. I can push George. What a good idea, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> horsey, horsey! George! She's called Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! <sniffs> I know! Because the present is for both of us, we'll call her Horsey Twinkle Toes! <laughs> Pepper and George love playing together with Horsey Twinkle Toes. <laughs> George's garden. Daddy Pig is sitting in his favourite sunny spot. Ah, what a perfect day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. How could this be better? I know, a cup of tea. Grandpa Pig has come to see Pepper and George. Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig. Hello, Pepper and George. You're going to have your very own flower garden. Ooh, a garden for George and me. I've got a packet of flower seeds for each of you. <laughs> now, we need a nice sunny spot to plant your seeds. Here we are. Grandpa Pig is digging Pepper and George's garden. Oh! Ah, tea for the workers. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Uh, what's going on? We're making a flower garden. Do we need a flower garden? Yes. yes! But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. But I always read my newspaper here. There are more important things than newspapers, Daddy Pig. Yes, like flowers. Look, Daddy. <laughs> Pepper has lots of flower seeds. George only has one flower seed. Oh. But it is quite a big seed. <laughs> Could you fetch us some water, Daddy Pig? Hmm. OK. Seeds need water to grow. They get very thirsty. Some little birds have come to watch. Don't let the birds eat the seeds, Peppa. Shoo! Shoo! Fly away, birdies! Here's the water. Daddy scared the birds away. Oh, ho, ho. Daddy Pig looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George, bath time. Oh, but what if the birdies come back? Don't worry, Peppa. I'll make sure the birds don't eat the seeds. Thank you, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, this is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh, OK, Peppa. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. It is morning. George, let's look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, big.
baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa Pig, can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa, George, come and look. My flowers! They're so pretty. And look at George's plant. It's a beanstalk. And it goes all the way up to a giant's castle. Oh, oh no, Peppa. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Well done, George. <laughs> I love our flower garden. Now let's make you a vegetable garden. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs. Daddy Pig. Like tomatoes, carrots and potatoes. I do like a nice potato. Daddy Pig loves potatoes. <laughs> Everyone loves potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy, go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig, <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi! Did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go, because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Grrr. Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig 
began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little dirty pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs. A bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <coughs> Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look! Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy, you said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? 
Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Whew. Daddy Pig works very hard. Whew. But Mr. Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes Christmas show. It is Christmas time, and Pepper and her playgroup are going to the theatre to see Mr. Potato's Christmas show. We're here. <laughs> Look, it's the Christmas vegetable family. Mr. Potato, Mrs. Carrot, Sweet Cranberry, and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Find the seat with your number on it. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh, sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Welcome to the Mr. Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Little Sprout gone. Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it. When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree. Potatoes, carrots and cranberry. It's a very special Christmas with all our friends. Well, the magic of vegetables never ends. That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. That was a bit quick. Wait. There's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! 
Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Uh... Jolly good. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! Madding is Elf's leaving party. <laughs> it is home time at Peppa's playgroup. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. Why, Madam Gazelle? I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Pepper and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madam Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> Sounds fun! It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK. I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Walking Gazelles. Hello, Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I always think of the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's... Against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And I shall say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you. An antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was, no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> Oh, oh, the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move to music. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children, 
<laughs> Today, you will use your imaginations to move to music. Ooh. What does this music make you think of? It makes me think of a piano. OK. It makes me think of music. Right. Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you think of? It makes me think of a cherry tree swaying in the wind on top of a beautiful mountain. Wonderful, Rebecca. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountaintops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music. It was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> this way! Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Jumping up and down. Peppa loves moving to music. Everyone loves moving to music.